Nobody wants to get united. Like, what we gotta do is meet everybody in home 49th Street at the bench. Ladies and gentlemen, today I got a video that I think is a little overdue. We're gonna be reviewing the graffiti in Watch Dogs 2, a game that came out in 2016, but I'm just now getting to it. <laughs> but before we dive into that, let me just let you guys know today's video is sponsored by Audible.com. You can find a link to a month free of Audible in the description down below. I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. Warning! Dope graffiti ahead. Look at this Duke throw up. This is is pretty solid stuff. I like how they actually paid extra attention to the letter and name positioning of the K to the E. So instead of having the middle of the E come down here where it would lack structure because this leg of the K would overlap it, they moved the center of the E upwards and brought it up here where the K doesn't overlap. That's a pretty smart decision. A lot of graffiti artists probably would not have made that choice and that was the right choice to make. A really really simple thing but it definitely works out for the best. Good execution. Well, <laughs> Ain't that something? This is... <laughs> I wish this mural was in my hometown. <laughs> I love this. What I do really want to say about the graffiti in this game is it, they don't really scale it too well. And I understand this. Back in 2016, things have changed since then. But I mean, scaling is... is it's not something super crazy and technologically advanced. It's just scaling an image. And there's multiple times where you see throw-ups or even straight letters like this green right down here that should not be that small. And they are. This is something that Spider-Man, the new one that came out for the PS4, that's something that they did phenomenal phenomenal on. They scaled everything to a realistic size, and this game does not always do that. However, comma, the hand styles are sick. Look at this. Change the rules. This is dope. I love these kind of R's. I absolutely adore those. But this is this is pretty sick stuff right here. Ooh, nasty. I'll kiss your kitty. <laughs> Let me stop. That's, a, that's inappropriate. That's not family friendly. They have a lot of dope hand styles. Once again, love the region-based hand styles here. This is some good stuff. And then also, so, like, they, they've hired real graffiti artists to do this artwork. You can tell because look at this hand style. That's not something a toy is going to do. This proves that your letters don't have to be crazy and technical in order to be dope. All he has is a little extension here on the W. That's it. Then he has a basic structure R within a variant structure E. And then a basic structure NCH. Really clean, dope hand style. I'm really feeling this piece right here. I wish I could see more of it, but the gameplay I was watching, they didn't bother to look over to the right. Can't blame them. They're not a graffiti artist. But... This is a solid straight letter. Gotta love that blue fill-in. And I love how the fact they have maybe a six-letter name. And the reason I say maybe is because we can't see what comes after the R, but it's hard to imagine anything else would come after the R. And with the six-letter name, they get into something called letter groupings, where depending on the amount of letters in your name, you can group the letters differently in order to do different things with the name. For example, patterns. In this case, they take the odd numbers and they make them different colors in order to drive a lot of attention to those letters. The first letter, although being an odd number, it has to be the setting standard for the rest of the normal letters. That's why you'll see the S look like the L, the M, and the R. The A is when they begin their, like, pattern, if you will, in quotation marks, and that's gonna drive a lot of attention to that A. And then they have the backwards three being the E, where it's all white and red, which has dramatic contrast with the blue fill-in and the black 3D. So that's some really good stuff right there. That's that's really smart on the graffiti artist's part. I got, do I got a hair in my mouth? Probably from kissing your kitty. <laughs> Alright, alright, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> And here we have a crom throw up, right? You have the C right here, you have the R, and then you have the O and the M. And we can tell it's an R for anybody curious because you have that little line right there which indicates negative space, which is something that throw ups are very, very famous for. When there's negative space, they usually use a symbol or a line to indicate this. For example, here's your line, and then here's your symbol. And then in throw ups, open counters are typically turned into closed counters, once again, reducing that negative space and increasing the speed of doing the throw up. So that's why you have down here here with the R, the leg of the R connects to the spine of the R, or the stem of the R if you're doing more typography, it's stem. And same thing here on the M, where the right side of the M collapses back into the center of the M to close that counter off. And if you compare the right side, the OM, to the left side, you'll see that the right side does actually outweigh the left side. They could have easily have increased the weight of this side by simply just doing the C larger, or doing the CR larger. Either way it would have worked. And it didn't even have to be much larger. But on a throw up this good, that's a little bit nit 
nitpicky because we can tell this person knows what they're doing. So overall, this is really good. I'd have to give this graffiti a solid like 7 or 8 out of 10. This was some really good stuff. Now, the reason I give it a 7 or 8 out of 10 is because I have not seen the pieces in this game. I could not find pictures of it. So once again, if any of you guys own this game and can get high quality pictures of the graffiti, please send it to my email. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit me with that like. And if you guys would like to see me do a review of any graffiti in movies, TV show, or games, let me know in the comments down below. As I said at the beginning of this video, today's episode was sponsored by Audible.com. That's right. That's the place where you can listen to books if you're really bad at reading like me. You see, I'm dyslexic, so reading legitimately gives me a headache, and being able to listen to it is a great alternative for me. If you've ever been curious about Game of Thrones, or any other novels, or even art books, be sure to pick it up using Audible. I have a code for 30 days free, as well as a free audiobook in the description down below. Be sure to go ahead and check it out. Anyway, for those of you guys who are new here, my name is John Grimm. We come up with weekly art videos, so be sure to subscribe. I hope to see you guys back around. And I swear I'll do less kitty kissing next time. <laughs> I'll catch you guys next time, but until then, peace.